These are a few photos from viewer model railroads, just like you guys. This is a virtual model railroad show, a video entirely powered by you guys. Hey everybody, my name is Jimmy. Welcome to Coffee and Trains. Today I'm drinking some of that Kauai coffee. I really do like that stuff. And if you want to tell me what kind of coffee you are drinking, you can leave that in the comments below and it might just be featured just like these guys right here. Also, this is a virtual model railroad show, which means I'm showing viewer model railroads that they submitted. If you want to submit your model railroad to be shown on this show, you can send that to the email in the description below. And I'm going to talk more about that at the very end of this video, but let's get into the show. Cheers. We're gonna start off with a submission from Matthew. Check this out. Matthew has something that I've never seen on a layout before, and that is the Titanic. This is the Lego model of the Titanic. He's also got a dinosaur on here, which I actually have seen on a layout before, but just some neat little fun things. You can tell he's really having fun with his layout. And we also have some of those intermodal cars. Absolutely love those Kato intermodal cars. And you can see he also has Amtrak. He has the Union Pacific Excursion set right there next to the giant Titanic, which looks really cool. And then just check out this shot of his coal train. Great job, Matthew. I absolutely love it. Well, thank you, Matthew, for sending that in. Up next, we have Ray Bobel. Check this one out. Ray takes us back to the beginning of the construction of his layout with the bench work right here. Nice, solid looking bench work that you tell is going to do all right. And he also has the beginning of the construction of his yard right here as well. And you can see all of that right here. A lot of stuff going on right there. A lot of cars, a lot of rolling stock. You can tell he's just building up now. It's still under construction as of when these photos were sent, but he's going to have a lot of cool things. I like showing track like this because a lot of times trains just don't go in a straight line. Plus also check out this Union Station. It looks really nice. And also these row houses. I think these kits have been around for a while. I know they're not officially the Penny Ladies, but they look good. Great job, Ray. Keep it up. Can't wait to see more. Love seeing that coming along, Ray. Next up, it is Mike Evans. Mike is showing us his layout under construction. You can see he has this little intermodal facility using those mobile cranes coming off trucks to get those loaded. It's a great way to put a small intermodal facility on a layout. I like that. You can also see this section that looks like he has a lot finished and he's using that HO scale Kato unit track, which is some really good pre-made road bed track, by the way. And then he has this one other shot where you can see more of that and still under construction, but he has a really nice station there. Nice job, Mike. I really like this. Thanks for sending that in, Mike. Now it's time for a submission from longtime friend of the channel, Lynn McCurdy. Lynn is showing us these modules of this modular layout from the Monolith Cement Plant, and it's loosely modeled after Monolith in Tehachapi, California. And it consists of three four foot modules, and a triangle piece, and a six foot module in the rear. And these pictures are from October of 2022, and they're just really, really neat. I love seeing modular model railroads. I think that there's something really special, and it's something that a lot of people can do and actually have quite a large railroad in quite a small space. So thank you so much, Lynn, for sending these in. Now, check out this railroad from Paul Sauter. Paul starts off by showing us the beginning and some progress shots of his layout. You can see this one right here, followed by another one with a little bit more scenery on it. And then we get to the finished product. I love showing start to finish, even if it's just a few photos, but just check out this layout. It is just really beautiful and it really shows you what you can do in a small amount of space with model railroading. You don't need a ton of space to enjoy this hobby. You can see this layout in a lot of the photos he's taken. He's taken a lot of time and care and just really made this layout look really, really good. And this is something that you should be proud of, Paul, because this looks phenomenal. I absolutely love this. I love all the different scenes and the vignettes you can really get close in on. You've done a great job, Paul. I love this layout. 
I really do love showing off you guys model railroads. It's a lot of inspiration for a lot of people and I love showing the railroads in different stages of completion because a lot of times we only see the model railroads in their completed state. So it's nice for other people to see other model railroads being built and see how they're built and just get an idea for that. So if you would like to submit your photos of your model railroad for the virtual model railroad show, you can send them to the email in the description below. The only thing I ask is that you do send a picture of either your entire model railroad or a large section of it if it's a really big model railroad. Now, this is the last Last virtual model railroad show of 2023 and in December I'm going to have the first ever virtual model railroad awards ceremony and that is going to be for the viewer model railroad of the year I'm finishing up the nomination voting on my patreon page here in the next couple weeks and then it's going to open up to a general vote of all my viewers for the virtual model railroad of the year with the finalists. So I am looking to fill out the 2024 calendar. And what I'm looking to do is I have 55 slots for model railroads and I've already filled up through July, I think I was just counting with next year's virtual model railroad show. It's actually to the point where I may add some additional slots if it fills up too quickly. So get those submissions in for 2024 so you can be considered. They're going to fill up quickly. So thank you all so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.